Well, after 10 days on the road, we are finally going to be saying see ya to Canada. Here, you can kind of take a look at like what the hotel room looks like after we've <laughs> been here for two days this of us cleaning too, because we just kind of fix. Well, yeah, this is R and R for us. We're excited to go to Alaska. Yeah. Get back to the motherland. Yep, exactly. Back to the motherland we go. Yeah, after Alaska, just bomb it down and get the heck out of Canada. Yep. Just kind of blast through Canada, a whole another two thousand miles or something like that. So, we <laughs> that'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah, going to the Canadian border, Canadian Canadian Alaskan border today. Uh, so that should be cool. Hopefully, we see some cool stuff. We'll see though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Got everything? I think so. All right. Goodbye, smelly room. Seriously. Can you see key? There you go. Thank you. Megan, say goodbye to the stinkiest hotel room you've ever been in. Actually, I don't think that is the stinkiest hotel room. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> Interesting the farther north you get because everything gets so expensive mm -hmm. and everything closes early and that's just kind of par for the course. So I think we're ready to get to Alaska, although I don't think it's going to be much better. Maybe a little bit better. Maybe. I can't hear you. I said I love you. Oh, I love you too. Okay, babe. All right, GPS. Don't fail me now. Sayonara, white horse. Weird 80, 98 motel. That place was weird. I feel like, I mean, this could be just my experience, but I was with you like the entire time. Certain people here are very grabby. Yeah. Like, one lady just wanted to like hug Megan. She liked my red hair. So she she liked her red me. hair and like tried to give her a hug and I was walking past some person who may or may not have been on drugs. I think he was. And he just like grabbed my arm, like aggressively and was like, excuse me, what time is it? Don't do this. Like, woo, chill bro. Yeah, there you are. You're getting kind of a look at... This is Whitehorse. This is the last great city in the northern reaches of Canada. So people have told us a couple times now that this road from Whitehorse up to the Alaskan border can get a little interesting. Interesting being like big potholes and snow heaves. So... Today is the day we get to find out for ourselves. Megan, how are you feeling about that? earlier like any of the anxieties that we had like before the trip or days leading up to it like once we like get to those points put your head down and do it you know there's no other way so I feel like it's just kind of like all right let's do it let's go yeah no reason of being like anxious about it that just makes it worse and we've done pretty good at just kind of like figuring it out as we go yeah oh shit I need to get gas yeah, don't quote me, but it was 3.74 liters to a gallon at essentially two dollars per liter Canadian. That's like that's like seven that's like seven dollars a gallon up here. Woo! Whee! <laughs> Alaskan Highway, and there is a lot of road work and that the roads can get pretty iffy, and we're not sure if this is the spot or not. I've put the bike into its like off-road mode, so that should help, but we'll see. These roads have to get redone pretty frequently, we believe, and it's this like oil with gravel over the top 
from where you're at, it looks like you're going over gravel, but it's actually pavement. And they treat it with this other weird chemical I can't think of right now, but it's because the snow is such an issue for these roads up here. And it creates these massive like snow heaves. They're like reverse speed bumps. Ugh. Okay, so we just got through some road work and it sounds like the worst is yet to come, but you can't get mad at these views. I feel like even just like standing here looking at it doesn't do it justice. Like with how like powerful and beautiful it is, you know? Yeah. These aren't even that big apparently. Well, Megan, do you want to update the people on what the plan is? I'm just here. Well, that's weird because I don't know what the plan is either. Oh. So we. I think we're riding the motorcycle to Alaska. Yeah. That's we're... the plan. Right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to ride the motorcycle to Alaska. We want to get across the border. Yes. So we're riding the motorcycle across the border. Yeah, that's about as far as we've gotten with plans. We're going to see if we can make it all the way to Took, uh, considering like... the sun like never sets. I think we can do it. It's like 350 miles from here. No. Took? Yeah. No, it's like 260. Oh, that's what I meant. I was. So we'll see. We'll see. The roads. The roads might dictate that. But. Mm. Your little beard's turning ginger in the sunlight. All right. Well, let's get back on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are here in Beaver Creek. Megan's getting her flexibility flexibility on, her stretching on. And I just realized that I didn't have this 360 camera in the 360 mode for the entire time to Beaver Creek. Hopefully some of that footage turns out. If not, we're at least gonna be coming back this way so we can recapture that footage. I mean, doing this section of road north of Whitehorse has been challenging. Uh, we've, we've bottomed out once and there's gravel everywhere and apparently it only gets worse from here until we get to Took, which is where we were originally planning on going uh it's about 119 miles from here but if we average the speed we've been going which is around 30 to 35 miles an hour because of the roads we'll not pull in there until like another four hours so we're gonna have to kind of play it by ear and maybe find somewhere else to stay how are you doing i'm fine yeah you're doing so good. Okay. Shout out to Evan. He's killing it. Right here, me. Yes. Shout out to the bike, man. Poor thing. Check two. This is something, especially with the 
bumpiness of the roads, making sure panniers are all locked in, you know, just double checking the straps, which these rock, uh, rock straps are incredible. I'm always afraid, like when I stand, I realize like my butt hits right here and I'm like not sitting on it, but like resting on it. And I'm always like, am I going to push this thing off? But it's pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. I mean, yeah, no, it hasn't moved. We've definitely recognized the, maybe not limitations of the bike, but you know, we, we've packed light. I mean, compared to a lot of other people we see yeah. this far up here, like it's crazy how much stuff they Sometimes have. Sometimes we see people with their bikes loaded up and two people on it. What do you guys have? What yeah. do you mean? Bro? We've never done this before, so obviously we did it right the first time. We're experts. And we have zero course. lessons to learn. Everyone should learn from us. Except for putting your camera on the right way the first time. Just finishing up our food, water, and caffeine break, and we're going to hit the road again. We're going to take it slow and steady, and where we end up, we end up. Wow, so far this is way better than what we just came in on. Yeah. Does dust settle a little bit? Let these cars pass. Good. I'm going slower. Look how pretty it is over there on the left. That is very pretty. And we are... Welcome to Alaska, ladies and germs. Mm -hmm. Do you want to yeah. stop and get a picture? Sure. Can you see me okay? How's yep. my hair? Do, do, do. Cool, just kidding. Bye, girlfriend. Yay! Bye, girlfriend. Have fun in Canada. I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> I'm going to realize my dreams as a mountain man. I can't believe you like this. Wait! All right. Climb well, aboard. <laughs> That was mean trick, boyfriend. Mean trick? You know I cannot fight the moose, they leave me. We're entering Alaska time zone. I'm winded now. So it's 446 right now. I'm in neutral. <laughs> it's 446. And now it is... Dun, 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 dun. Still 446. Dun. I have no idea. It's still 446. Oh well. Oh god, the sweating bullets. I wonder what it's like working out here, you know? I wonder where they live. Good question. Hello. Hey, how's it going? How many in the vehicle? Uh, just the two. Uh, yeah. US? Oh, yes, US. Grab our passports for you. It would appear that we got the roads backwards. The original plan was to just show you the really bad side, and we thought that the bad side that we were on earlier was the good side. So we didn't get anything of that, thinking we'd just show you all the worst stuff. Now here's our leisurely ride through Alaska. Okay, so apparently we got some rough road. Let's see. Still, still trying to show you what it was like. Oh yeah, spooky. Okay, all right, so yeah, take this, take this, and add more potholes, and then make the road go like this. And Megan, is that a pretty accurate description of the Canadian side of the Alaskan Highway? Yes, actually. <laughs> and more gravel. All right, well that was exciting. Now you no for a warning either. This one at least told you it was rough road. That one was just like, and now you're on rough road. Yeah, and surprise. All right, oh yeah, little bumps. Yeah, here we go. So what, we're going 33 miles per hour right now. That's pretty good. We were just cruising at about like 55. Sluggish crawl to the Canadian border. 
for like 110 miles, I swear. That's why we thought like, oh my gosh, we're never going to get there if we have to go yeah. this slow. Pleasantly surprised to see how good of time we're making. Yeah, I was, I'm very happy with this. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I can understand how if you're like pulling a trailer or you're in a car, I mean, I think a bug just flew into my helmet. Anyway, if you're pulling a trailer, this could be a pain in the ass, but on a motorcycle, this isn't too tricky. And our bike is well equipped for this, so. All right, well, the road has definitely started to get a little bit choppier the farther north we go, but it's not super slow going. You just gotta kind of be aware. It's weird, these potholes aren't super deep. They're more just clustered and sporadic. So you just gotta be careful in some of these sections of road like here. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then it'll open up like this. This is where you gotta be careful though because then you pick up speed and all of a sudden you hit shit. You can see too up there, it's the same in Canada. You have these orange flags that represent the beginning of like a rough patch. Usually it's gravel or maybe potholes or a really big snow heave. So let's see what this is. This looks like gravel. Gravel. Yep. And maybe a couple potholes. Ugh. Yep. This is going to just compound my scoliosis even more. <laughs> Being in shorter by the end of this road. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. I guess on the upside, like roads like this are a little bit more mentally engaging, so that's fun. But then on the downside, is like you're not as actively, you're not looking around at the scenery as much because you're always concerned about what's going to send you over the handlebars. For me, it's the perfect combination. It's enough to keep me entertained. This is the third bee? Third or fourth? The third or fourth bee I have found under my butt when I skid up from my motorcycle seat. I don't know how they get there, and I honestly feel terrible for killing them. Your big fat ass squished it. <sighs> So we have made it to our destination of the evening, which is Took, Toke. Alaska. Toke, Alaska. We've been saying it wrong all day. And today actually was pretty great. Road was challenging, but also a really good time. Yeah. And it's nice to be back in the States, kind of, and in Alaska. We've been really excited to get here. So getting here has been kind of like super exciting. Yeah. I don't know what it is about just crossing over into Alaska, even though it looks pretty much the same as Canada, but it just feels like, ah, yes. Alaska. Yeah, one of the best things about being back in the States and not in Northern Canada is you have cheap booze again. Two for four dollars. Margaritas. There's so two shots in here. Yeah, we're gonna, here, we're gonna crack get a little, open. a little wasty on our two shots before we eat dinner. Tonight. No, we're not. We're, we're responsible adults. Yeah. We would never do that. Never. Want to show them the river? Yeah. So here we are yeah. at the river. River. This is the Toke River. Of life. Hence Toke, Alaska. Very pretty down here. Mm -hmm. Not as many mosquitoes down by the water as you would think. Up at our campsite though, they are out in full force. Yep. Well, I can drink to that. I'll drink to that. Cheers, baby. Salud. And with that, we're going to hang out for the night. Excited to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Much love. Bye. Peace.